Greetings, my friends. Who got the emergency cell phone warning today? Every person in America that has a cell phone got the emergency cell phone warning. Now, here's what's interesting about this. The woman who was the prosecutor for who heard the the Ford Kavanaugh testimony said, she's impartial, by the way. She said that, and she's one of the foremost experts on sexual assaults, by the way, in America. She said there were inconsistencies throughout Ford's testimony and that she and no prosecutor that she knows would ever try the case because it's a very weak, weak, weak case. Now, the Democrats, uh, the word is, I've been reading online, that the Democrats uh, have operatives who've been leaking addresses of senators and congressmen of, who, for others who may want to do them harm, maybe want to invade their home, may want to hurt them or kill them. They will do anything to keep Roe versus Wade to be from being overturned to keep of any of the things that have been done, gay rights, whatever you, whatever's been changed by the Supreme Court, they'll do anything to keep the potential of those being overturned by a conservative Supreme Court. And so this uh, cell phone warning today could be from one or two parties. Now, it's also been rumored that Trump may be getting ready to declare martial law so he can start charging many of the Democrats, maybe even fellow Republicans who are rogue, with crimes against uh, America, possibly treason, who knows. And this could be a early warning for that as well. If it's a Democrat side, there may be a false flag coming as well, which may be, you see in the background of the cell phone warning, it could be a nuke. It could be a suitcase nuke. It could be anything happening. They will do anything to stop Kavanaugh from being confirmed. And they're saying they may vote on him as early as Friday of this week, that will be October the 5th. Things are heating up big time. Things are happening. I've never seen anything like this where everyone gets a cell phone warning, every phone in America. I mean, it spooked me when I heard it. It was a very weird sounding tone too. Very ominous, very spooky, very scary sounding tone. It seemed like it meant business. It was much more than any Amber Alert tone you'll ever get. I believe one of the two scenarios that I mentioned could be coming up the pike. And the rapture could happen beforehand as well. If the rapture happens before uh, either one of these two things can happen, as Jesus told me uh, yesterday that it's going to happen soon, the pre-tribulation rapture, did a video on that. Uh, I may link that video up here as well. Then uh, that could just take care of everything itself because if all the Christians in America and the world disappear, it's a small number I know, but it's still going to be millions and millions and millions. It can make a huge difference in what's going on, and they can just turn everything into total nightmarish chaos scenario where just all hell breaks loose and then they'll need to have <coughs> someone step in to explain why the aliens took us because i know that's the excuse they're going to use because i've proven that with all the alien everything just ratcheting up big time since obama first took office i believe obama will be the one to step in and say hey it was the aliens but i made a deal with them they won't do it anymore they took your children and babies and little ones i'm sorry about that they took the bad christians as well maybe he'll make up some excuse where they couldn't differentiate but anyways, he'll calm people's nerves. They'll need calming because when this happens, it's going to be just horrific beyond their wildest nightmares. And if you're left behind after this imminent rapture happens, you'll be here for seven pure years of hell, where if God didn't intervene, no flesh remain alive as it is. Billions with a B will die the most grotesque, awful, terrible, horrific deaths imaginable. Why go through all of that? Jesus Christ is your only hope. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed another minute of your life. Even if you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. Witness and pray for the lost daily. And true Christians, look up. Our dip and draweth nigh. We fly soon. May God bless you. Share this video and wake up, my friends. We're living in a closer anarchy in America. Bye.